Good evening. I'm Greg Sharp. Here is tonight's sports ticker. Husker football continued preparation today for Saturday's matchup with Minnesota. Husker defense gave up 32 points this past weekend to Michigan, and defensive coordinator Eric Chenander talked about what he expects moving forward from his group. The next step is just we need to play better, you know, um, error-free. You know, they played a good football game the other night, but uh, too many explosive plays out there. Um, most of those were some communication errors, not necessarily communication, but a little bit of a, a bust here and there. Uh, so eliminate the explosives, cause more turnovers, um, get more sacks. That's probably the evolution. We will hear more from Chenander and comments from offensive coordinator Matt Lubick later on in the hour. The Huskers will face the Gophers Saturday at 11, with pregame coverage beginning on the network at 7 a.m. with Husker game day. Husker basketball and volleyball announced some updated start times for games and matches coming up in the next six weeks. All of that information can be found on Huskers.com. It was game two of the Red-White Series for Husker baseball today at Haymarket Park. Cam Chick homered in the top of the seventh inning for the White Squad as they even the series up at a game apiece by prevailing one to nothing. The Huskers will wrap up fall ball tomorrow with game three of their series starting at 3.30. And there's action at Boland Stadium as the Huskers are facing UNK on the diamond. The Big Red lead 3-0 in the fourth inning. Baseball playoffs continue. The Houston Astros have punched their ticket for the American League Championship Series. They beat the Chicago White Sox this afternoon 10 to 1. They win the series three games to one. They'll now face Boston in the ALCS. Over in the National League, it's the Brewers 2, the Braves nothing. They're in the fourth inning. Atlanta leads that series two games to one. Milwaukee has to win it to force a fifth game back in Milwaukee on Thursday. Later tonight, San Francisco and Los Angeles will play in L.A. The Giants lead that series two games to one. And they drop the puck tonight on the NHL season. There'll be a pair of games. Those are tonight's headlines. I'm Greg Sharp. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NGOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Ramirez in the backfield on second short. Fake the handoff, rolling the pocket back to throw. Adrian takes a shot downfield, has a man open. It's Ramirez, makes a catch. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Huskers burn that Wolverine defense for a second time in the third quarter. Now Penn State back right. Johnny Parker stopped. A huge block. Nebraska, big block. Couldn't have been better time. Huskers lead. It's 2019, step two. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to our Tuesday show. We've got two hours ahead for you tonight, including hour number two. It'll be our Nebraska volleyball show. The head coach will be in studio. The Huskers will play tomorrow against Indiana. It's a home match, so he's in town, so we'll have his weekly radio show tonight. The Huskers have gotten off to a great start. They're currently in first place in the Big Ten. Hope to continue the momentum tomorrow night with the Hoosiers visiting the Devaney Center. 8 o'clock first serve. Pre-game coverage tomorrow will begin at 7 30. We're going to hear from both coordinators later on this hour. They were made available today after practice session. The big news that came out of it today, Jessica, was that Quentin Newsom was awarded a black shirt. Actually got it last week. It's news just kind of leaked out today. So happy for him. You know, he, he was in a battle in camp to win that starting job in the defensive secondary. He had a tough game at Illinois, but I think he's played some really good football since then, and certainly uh, the coaches agree by giving him a black shirt. Yeah, and, and he tweeted about how special it is, and it is. It means so much to these guys. You hear him talking about it, and you keep doing things the right way, even though you might not get it at the beginning of the season you keep you know working your tail off and doing things right and doing what the coaches ask of you they're going to continue to reward those and you know it felt like he earned it and good for him it's got to also provide a boost of confidence for him moving forward and they're going to need him this season and and in the future as well that's right because that secondary is probably going to have some losses going into next year we all kind of believe cam tater Britt is going to put his name in the nfl draft the two safeties exhaust their eligibility so there's a real possibility he's the lone starter in that group coming next spring for spring ball. Yeah, he's going to need to be probably taking more of a leadership yep. role. And, you know, I think he's probably been watching and learning because, you know, as we've talked so much about, especially in the black shirts, there's so many leaders in that group that have, you know, helped set the tone and the mentality of those black shirts and how they play week in and week out. And so you're going to need some of those younger guys to keep that, you know, that mindset, that mentality moving forward. And he's going to be that guy that they're going to look to to do do a big chunk of that in the secondary. So cool for him and really happy for him. And 
he solidified himself in that secondary and continues to play really good football for that team. And uh, they get ready for Minnesota. Did a little prep work on them today. A lot of veterans, a lot of guys that have played a lot of football for Minnesota. They've been really hit hard by injuries. They've lost their number one and number two tailbacks, both out for the season. That's really limited what they can do offensively. What makes you nervous, though, they had a bye week last week so they could heal up and they could work on Nebraska for two full weeks. They could come out with completely different type of schemes against the Big Red. Yeah, that's always a, a challenge. Or they could be flat. I, I was literally about to go there. <laughs> yeah. That that could always be a challenge. Or a lot of times you see teams that come off that, you know, kind of lose their rhythm a little bit, you know. And the way Nebraska's been putting some games together and continuing to build. And, uh, again, they feel like they played a pretty solid football game against Michigan, even though it didn't come out the right way. They they continued to – the offense really started clicking in the second half. So this is a team that continues to play with confidence. So that can be scary, too, the fact that they're rolling right now going into this matchup. So it could go both ways. Do you get the feeling that the folks aren't over the Michigan game yet? I do. I mean, the I, fans I saw, are... yeah, the fans. I still see so many posts and tweets about it and references to calls that were made in the game. I – I think this one. I think that one's still hanging on. I don't think. I think the team has moved past it, but I don't think the fan base has yet. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think because there was so much hype going into that one, and and again, another game that you felt like they should have won that game. You're one play away from that game going a different direction, and so you know, probably a little bit heart heartbreaking, and you know, it just it was. It was just such a huge game, and. Maybe, yeah, a little hung up on it, but I also think and the message from the team has been that there's still big things to, to accomplish this season and they're on to the next. So I guess that's where my mindset is because, you know, when I talk right. to the players and they're like, okay, we're on to the next, we're not talking about Michigan anymore. So it's like, you know, for me in my mindset, I'm like, okay, let's talk about Minnesota. But yeah, I can understand why it's heartbreak heartbreaking still for fans. I mean, they're still being columns being written about it and you know we're, we're kind of in a bit of a bubble here because we do kind of live with the ups and downs of the team and move on to the next day but I think you kind of move away from campus and people are still kicking around certain things that happen in that game and, and and that's kind of the beauty of football you have an entire week to do it you stew about it when you lose you revel in it when you win but it's it does hang on for seven full days yeah that's that's what's tough about the sport is that it does it takes you a week <laughs> to get back on the field where if it's a basketball game boy it's like two days or even volleyball you know it's like you play bad bad you have a bad outing you can get right back to it but um you know, I, I think this team has just continued to do such a good job no matter the outcome of closing the chapter and moving forward. And, and that you can't look too far ahead. You can't get caught up in the past or that's when you start to lose football games. And so it's a mature group. And they talk about that as, you know, they even though, you know, the outcome hasn't been what they expected or, you know, what, what they wanted, um, they've kind of learned how to handle these things and move forward and close the door. They have not recovered in the chat. They're still the, the guys are still fired up in the chat about that the other night. But uh, the refs, yes. Yeah, we are we're we are live on our YouTube stream for the program tonight. There is a chat room in there, and boy, they have a lot of fun talking about uh, Huskers sports in there. A lot of football chatter, obviously, this time of year. Our phone numbers, if you want to be a part of this little uh, shindig, 402-413-2400. That works for a call or a text if you prefer that type of communication. We do check that text line regularly throughout the game tonight. I was, uh, or in the game, the show tonight, I was uh, look, sur surfing, uh, doing some show prep today and noticed that Michigan State has bought some ad space in Times Square in New York to promote and push Kenneth Walker, their outstanding running back for the Heisman Trophy. Not the first school to do that. A lot of schools have done that. Um, I kind of felt like the way Nebraska defended him, we probably ended his Heisman campaign, but he's bounced back and had some big games since Nebraska left East Lansing. How effective do you think those are, or are they not? I mean, voters, Heisman voters across the country, I don't know how much time they spend in Times Square, but... Schools have done this a, a lot. I think Oklahoma's done it in the past. I know Oregon has done it for some of their players in the past. Uh, I don't know how effective it is, though. So it's October 12th. That's a little early to me to be starting a Heisman campaign. Yeah. Um, I definitely was a part of Baker Mayfield's Heisman campaign, Kyler Murray's campaign, and it was. I mean, we had meetings about, you know, within the athletics department about, okay, how are we going to promote these guys and that guy? And, you know, I remember, uh, you know, 
going on doing Bob Soup show when they had multiple guys. It was D.D. Westbrook and Baker Mayfield both were nominated, and it was, okay, how do we go about promoting? So it's absolutely something that schools go about. Okay, how are we going to promote these guys? But I do think it's probably still a little early, and because it was only two games ago that he was absolutely shut down. Yeah. So let's let's give him a couple more games. I know he had a massive performance last week against Rutgers. What, uh, 200 and... 60, what, 233 yards versus Rutgers. Um, but let's give him a couple more a couple more games. I don't even think the ballots are due until the... Early December. Yeah. yeah. They, don't, they don't even go out. I don't even think you, think you can start voting until November. Right. So let's give it a couple more games and see if he can string together a couple more big performances because he was absolutely... He couldn't do anything against the Huskers. Right. Nothing. They play Michigan in a couple of weeks. I think it may be the same weekend we play Purdue. If he has a big game against them, maybe. I think he's going to have a hard time running against that defense. I don't think it, it – is he even in conversations right now? I mean, like, I, I know that a couple of the maybe favorites, Spencer Rattler was a favorite I know going into it. He's kind of not really in that anymore. It's kind of a weird year, I guess, for, for the Heisman race, quote-unquote. But I don't even hear guys talking about Kenneth Walker. Like, when you watch college game day or you watch these pregame shows, it's not like he's being no. talked about in the Heisman conversation yet. Right. So there, it's probably Michigan State's kind of prerogative to, to try to get him in that conversation. But to me, no one's going to take that seriously until he, he bounces back and, and strings together some performances against legit defenses because he has not been able to – he did not do that against Nebraska. So. Correct. I think that's I think that's a good point you make. I think they're trying to jumpstart his campaign yeah. by getting his name and profile lifted up. But also, you also have to be on a team that's competing, you know, a little bit. And, they and are right I, now. I know they are now. So it's maybe that's part of the the yep. issue why t guys aren't talking about him either is because maybe there's still some questions on how good Michigan State is going to be, you know, moving forward. Are they going to continue to be undefeated in the top ten? You know, because a lot of it is a, about how your team is performing as well. So if Michigan State keeps winning, I think that's when Kenneth Walker enters those conversations. Buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Speaking of undefeated, the Husker volleyball team is undefeated in conference play. You were over at the Vanny Center here in the last hours. They wrapped up practice. That's got to be a good feel over there. Yeah, it really is. And they're excited to be back home. Yeah. You know, a couple on the road, especially... I feel like probably going to Penn State makes you feel like you probably played three on the road, right? I mean, it's a tough... They were back on the East Coast for like five days. Yeah, so um, they're excited to be back home in front of Devaney and, um, you know, starting to put some things together and, and build that chemistry. It just takes time. We've talked a lot about that with, you know, a lot of teams. It, it takes time to build that chemistry when you got some moving parts. And um, so, yeah, I, I think they're, they're starting to... Maddie Kubik said we you go from I think she said good to great great to exceptional and I think was the word and right now they're trying to go from good to great that's what they're working on right now and so they're they've got some things cooking and they're continuing on the positive trend but they by no means feel like they are there and they still got some some work to do she's quoting the head coach right there I can, I can hear his <laughs> voice in my head as you said that I'm like that's a John Cookism right I'll there. have to ask him when he comes in today good to great great to excellent I, I, yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, I, I don't know what the third word was. It was, yeah, but it was a step up from great. And so right now they're in the process of going from good to great. There you go. So yeah. I mean, we'll hear from him next hour. So uh, that'll be fun to, to hear what he has thoughts about all of that. Folks, this season, share Valentino's tailgater tradition with our big red double jumbo deal and get two one-topping pizzas for only seventeen seventy nine each. Those jumbo pizzas. Wow. Order yours online at Valentinos.com. Valentinos, the official pizza of the Huskers. Go Big Red. We are back to hear from both coordinators. Also, we'll keep uh, the phone lines open for you as well if you have some thoughts about Husker sports, Husker football, 402-413-2400. Have you recovered from Saturday? Are you still thinking back and replaying the game in your mind? I'd love your thoughts about that next. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team and the determination to always keep improving. Sure, the game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up and back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. Today's play of the day comes from Nebraska. We pick it up with the local sports announcer at a Nebraska Lottery retailer. 
Dave enters the store. He makes a move to the checkout counter. Looks like he's going to pass. Yes, he's passing the clerk a few dollars. The clerk takes the handoff and spins around. It looks like he's placed the scratch tickets on the counter, and now Dave has them in his hand. It's the old scratch -a He scratches left. He scratches right. Oh, my! He's done it! Dave has scored a bundle of cash. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. At Subaru, they love building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The redesigned 2021 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. An upgrade in horsepower means you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Visit Deteau Subaru at 27th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or at DeteauSubaru.com. Upgraded horsepower available on select models. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic you always dreamed of owning your own farm now you're living your dream and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together massey ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do making them easier to operate more comfortable to drive more versatile than ever massey ferguson gives nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field Manzer Equipment in Osmond, Nebraska, your full-time Massey Ferguson dealer. Proud supporters of the Huskers and Nebraska farmers since 1975. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You train for this all year. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance, all without spilling a drop of your ice cold Bud Light. Welcome back to football, sports fans. Tailgating pros agree that Lucille's famous fried chicken and more at Sap Brothers scores big with Husker fans. Be the MVP of your tailgate party this year and let Lucille's do the cooking. Stop by Sap Brothers Travel Center or visit www.sapbros.net to find out how you can elevate your tailgate party with Lucille's famous fried chicken. Celebrating 50 years of fueling America's heartland and welcoming guests, Sap Brothers is proud to be an official sponsor of Husker Athletics. Great job, everyone. Printers, great coverage. Phones, quick pickups. Firewall, tough defense. And network, way to carry the whole team. Ever since Marco started calling our technology plays, we work smarter and our whole game is more streamlined. Marco's all-star services and support give us the winning edge. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. At Jimmy John's, we don't make sandwiches. We make the sandwich of sandwiches. We use fresh veggies because we don't hate salads. We just feel bad for them. We make our sandwiches exactly how you want because you're the one who's eating it. And we bake bread all day, every day, because stale bread isn't bread. It's croutons. Sandwich history is written by the victors. Good thing we have legible handwriting. Jimmy John's, the sandwich of sandwiches. Order pickup or delivery on the app. It's game on at Sid Dillon Buick James C. Cadillac in Fremont, featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location or check out our full inventory at Sid Dillon Buick GMC.com. You are what drives us, Sid 
Dylan. We are professional grade. Hey, Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team. www.iowaworks.gov. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer. 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres Solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Tuesday night. On our text line, Kenneth Walker has played one good defense, and he had 18 carries for 38 yards. He popped a 23-yarder to start overtime. I think MSU needs to pump the brakes until he performs against quality competition. They still play Penn State, Michigan, Ohio State. Let's see what his what stats look like when he gets through the good teams on the schedule. I, I think that's exactly right. Yeah, I mean, he's leading the country with 913 rushing yards. That's pretty good. 152 a game, over seven yards a carry, which I think is about 11th in the country, but... Um, yeah, I mean, he's got 233 versus Rutgers, 126 versus Western Kentucky, 172 at Miami, which we've seen. Miami's not great. Right. Youngstown State only had 57 and Northwestern 264 and then Nebraska at 61. So it's – I just – look, let's do it a couple more times. But I'm sure it's probably to try to get before he maybe doesn't perform. Right now those are excellent numbers. But he's going to probably not have those numbers – moving forward as that high so get his name out there in the conversation now is probably what they're thinking but yeah i'm i'm with him i'm pumping the brakes a little bit on that deal but there's nobody else as we talked about it's it's op- so it wide open right now yeah. you might as well if you have a guy you know start getting his name in that conversation while you can put him out there see if you can get him on espn a time or two between now and the end of the season said to the phones go to iowa and philip good evening philip you're up here on sports nightly Hey, uh, thanks for taking my call. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys and talk a little bit more about um, in previous weeks, you guys mentioned uh, how errors were a little bit in Nebraska's DNA and how, you know, we can't really avoid making uh, one or two critical errors here or there. But I mean, how do we change that and how do we move on? Because I don't think that any Husker fan really wants that in our DNA. And how do we pull, you know, four quarters together to not make, you know, to make a complete football game rather than make that critical error. We had that Michigan game in the bag, and then we made those critical mistakes that lost us the game. You know, how do we talk about changing our DNA going forward so we can, you know, put four quarters in together? Philip, that's the million dollar question. And if we had answers, we'd all be really rich, right? I mean, that's the, that's the challenge yeah. of the coaches is to try to change the mindset of the program to expect good things to happen and not wait for bad things to happen. And that's a tough, that's a tough hurdle to get over. And that's what this, that's what this group is fighting right now. Absolutely. Thank you very much for taking my call. I appreciate it. Yep. And I've, I've asked that question every single week because it is, that's continues to be the message that they're one play away. They're one stop away. They're one score away. They're one, you know, mistake away. It's, it's just one play away from these games going the other direction. And I've literally asked every single week, how do you change that one play? And it's just going to happen. Then the dominoes might really fall after that, but they've got to, and, and they'll all tell you that it's on us, the players, we've got to go get it done. And we're doing it in practice. And, and as we've talked so much about, they're approaching everything the right way. They're preparing the right way. They, have all of the they're they're doing everything right they just got to go do it in a game and then once you do it once it's like then then the floodgates open so i think they've just got to get that to click in a game and and i think it could change a lot of this trajectory in a close game yes you can't yep. be a 56 7 over northwestern you, you had that in the bag it's got to be where you have to make a play late to do it and to this point, we haven't been able to, to get to that point. Let's talk about that as we get into our practice report. Matt Lubick met with the media today, and, and he was talking about uh, the last drive. He got asked about why weren't guys like Omar Manning and Xavier Betts on the field for that last drive when you needed points to at least get it to overtime. Here was Matt Lubick's response to that. Uh, 
what we, we feel pretty good. Betts, Betts got a little banged up. Um, we, we think he's going to be healthy this week. He's, he's practiced. We think he's going to be good this week. Uh, Omar was... It, it was just kind of the rotation, you know, because um, we feel the other guys, you know, I know Omar made a good catch uh, early on, a big one down the field. Um, you know, as, as the game went on, it was kind of the guys that were hot, you know, the, as far as like deep threats, you know, I think Levi has, has proven he can make plays down the field. So is Oliver Martin. So as, 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 a, as an offense, it gives us a lot of weapons and it's kind of based on just who's the freshest, um, you know, who, who was maybe in the previous drive and just kind of keep guys fresh. Uh, of actually who's in the who's in the football game, but we have confidence in in all those guys. So there's his response, and, and I saw some people pushing back on that today about well, those if Xavier's nicked up a little bit, then you, yeah, you can't have him out there. Omar, when 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 coach said he wasn't in our rotation, but Levi Falk's been playing really good football, making big catches for the. I have no problem with Levi being out I'm there. I'm pretty sure one of those big plays, Omar was basically like a decoy. He ran he around because I I remember noticing because I'm working on a feature on Omar, thinking, oh, he's about to get a play here, and then it was then it ended up going. It was a great play call because I thought, oh, that's an excellent play call. It might have been the big play, big pass play to Ramir. Um, but right. Omar ran around and it looked like he might, you know, be getting ready to do something. And there was nobody more excited on that field than Omar either when it, when it happened. So I think, you know, maybe he's kind of in there and teams have seen a little bit of what he can do. Maybe they, but I think they're just have so many guys that they're been, being able to throw the ball to that are maybe open in certain situations that some guys aren't. Levi's just playing really well. He He's is, forced himself yeah. in there, and I, I, I don't have a problem at all with him being out there. You know Oliver's going to be out there, and you know is going to be out there. Right. Those guys have to be on the field. Yeah, and, and you can tell, too, uh, I feel like as a season goes along, who Adrian really feels comfortable throwing the ball to, and I think that's pretty clear. I think he and Levi have a, a great you know connection, and, and Adrian really feels confident throwing the ball. Uh, Levi's way. Well, Levi was a great interview after the game. I was really impressed with him and and kind of his information that that he delivered. It, I, that was my first time talking to him, and he's uh he, you can tell he's really well liked in the locker room too. He's fired up for this week. He's from Minnesota, so this game with the Gophers means a lot to him. And he's been a nice addition. Nebraska got him out of that transfer portal a year ago uh, from South Dakota. He's showing that he can play at this level. Pass protection certainly was a problem, and we, we said it all last week it was going to be an issue. Michigan's front four is just so good that the Hutchinson guy is a top 15 pick in the draft, and Nebraska had trouble uh, keeping him out of Adrian's lap all game. Here's Matt Lubick talking about pass protection this past week. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, we work on it every day. We do a lot of uh, pass rush situations in practice. Um, you know, when you can run the ball, sometimes that helps you with your pass rush and, and being balanced. So guys just don't know you're standing back there and throwing it every snap. Um, being able to like, run the ball and, and throw in situations helps. Uh, you know, pass the running backs are very involved in our pass protection. Um, and also having pass concepts where the ball can get out fast, you know, and uh, and the quarterback, more importantly, can make quick decisions and know where to go with the ball. So there's a whole bunch of stuff involved, and the obvious is getting the offensive line continuing to improve, which they have been with, with their technique and, and their pass sets. And weaving from that into now having to replace Teddy Prohaska, who Scott Frost announced yesterday is done for the season, here is Matt talking about replacing Teddy and how he thought Ben Hart did coming into the game at right tackle. He, he kept competing, you know, and uh, anytime you respond to a position change, it says a lot about who you are as a person. And from what I saw, he, he just practiced harder, you know, kept competing and knowing that that's not the, the depth chart is etched in sand that keeps changing, you know, and the players kind of control that. Uh, but he did a good job, you know, when he came in the game. So, um, and the fact that he has, you know, a year, a year and a half of starting experience, that helps from a depth standpoint. And, Helps our confidence, but helps his confidence as well, which is more important than our confidence. Jessica, I thought the coaches did a really good job when they made the switch two weeks ago, even mentioning Bryce and saying, we're going to need him. He, yeah. he, we, can't let, we can't lose him. He's got to hang in here with us. Absolutely. And you never know when you might have an injury, like unfortunately just happened, or you know maybe those freshmen, you never know with freshmen how that's going to play out either. So, yeah, you got to stay locked in, and you never know when your number is going to be called. And 
you know, again, who knows the shuffle of moving forward or how these guys are going to play out, you know, even next season. So you got to have those guys stay locked in. He will be fired up as well for Saturday. He's a Minnesota product as well. So, you know, it means a lot to go home and play the Gophers for him. What's, the, what's that crowd going to be like? Uh, it'll be, it, it won't be great. It'll be sleepy, I think, with 11 a.m. start. Mm-hmm. I think there'll be a lot of Husker fans that'll make yeah. their way up there. This is an easy drive for Nebraska fans. It's only about seven hours from Lincoln, six from Omaha. So it's pretty easy, four-lane highway all the way up. So... Uh, their student section's okay. It, it's it's a little better than Illinois. That's probably about it. That's probably <laughs> that's about it. That's saying much. That's probably about it. Okay. All right. Well, this <laughs> is our last from, from Matt Lubick. Um, he, he was asked about Minnesota coming off the bye week. What, what, you know, what challenges does that present Nebraska? You know, anytime you have a bye, it, it can help you because you get a chance to heal up, a chance to really focus on that next week to focus on an opponent. But, you know, that's we, we get two byes. Uh, during the season as well coming up and uh, so it's yeah we you, you don't know the one the one thing you know they're, they're pretty they're pretty set they're very sound they're a very good defensive football team um, they're going to be who they are but there's no question they could throw a little wrinkle in that we got to be ready for hey Nebraska 811 says go dig red before you dig always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked it's free it's easy and of course it's the law let's change sides of the ball let's go to defense Eric Chenander also met with the media today. Uh, we mentioned it in our opening segment about Quentin Newsom getting a black shirt. Here's Coach Shenander talking about the decision to give Q a black shirt. How did I know that was going to be the first question? Uh, yeah, Quentin's, uh, you know, he's a, he's a young, maturing guy. Uh, he's starting to do things the right way, off the field, on the field. I thought he played physical uh, in a couple weeks preceding him receiving that black shirt. I thought he tackled well. Uh, and he's just, you know, he's just maturing within the group. He's, he's catching up to the other guys. So I thought he was deserving of one, and we uh, we awarded him with one. So the question for Coach Shenander was similar to what Coach Libick got asked about, the challenge for preparing for a team that's had a bye week, particularly when you're the defensive coordinator because all the gadget plays, trick plays, you should have come on the offensive side of the ball. What does he expect from the Gophers on Saturday? Yeah, well, I mean, you got a little bit of the unknown, right? You're probably going to see a, a young uh, freshman running back in there. Um, you don't know. He could be not as good as those guys. He could be better than those guys. He's just the, you know, was the next guy up because of his youth. Uh, he could be the next great one. So we got to prepare uh, like it's the best running back we've seen back there. Uh, you know, and you never know if they're if they think that their uh, running game is not going to be where it needs to be. They might start throwing the ball around. They might have some some interesting wrinkles put in there. Um, obviously, they get in a lot of interesting personnel sets with multiple tackles in the game, multiple tight ends in the game. Uh, you got to be ready for all those different variations of formations, all those different variations of the run. You got to be ready for number 12 to come in the game and be a, a running quarterback and kind of overtake that wildcat role. You got to be ready for a running back to go back there and be the wildcat. You've got to be ready for the RPOs off the hard run action. So it, their offense poses a lot of difficulties and a lot of uh, intricacies that you need to get ready for in the, on the weekly basis. I remember you and I were talking before the season started, and I said, I, I think Minnesota's a dark horse in the West. And then Mohamed Ibrahim, who's one of the better running backs in this league, gets hurt against Ohio State in their opener, and I hated that. I hate seeing kids get hurt in the season like that. And then their number two gets hurt two weeks ago. So that's really cuts – you get down to your third tailback, any program, you're going to have a hard time. Yeah, and, and you could tell they just haven't been the same. They haven't. It's just they haven't had the same mojo, and uh, it's like they, they they their confidence took a hit, too. You know, I mean, I, when you have a running back like that goes down that's, you know, arguably one of the best in the league, one of the best in the country, you just – it, it hurts a team when when you have a best player. When, your best your, player. Your best mm-hmm. player goes down. It just so totally it could really ch- affect the psyche of a football team. And I think it has with Minnesota. They just have not looked like they believe, you know, that they're going to go win football games. A lot of times, it's just like kind of hang on sometimes and uh, have just have not looked like that same that same football team that came out to play Ohio State there in that first half. They haven't looked like that. They were in that game. Yeah, they, they were. were very much in that game. I, we were all texting. We had a group. Uh, yeah. text going on about how good Minnesota's a problem and Minnesota's going to be an issue and yep. then they just have not looked that good since but, that first half. You know, then they went to Boulder and I know Colorado's really struggling and spoiler alert, Colorado may appear on our pick sheet later <laughs> in the week. 
But they shut out Colorado 30 to nothing on the road, but then they turn around and lose to Bowling Green. So it's just been really up and down for them. So we hope it's down, not up for them this weekend. Yeah, and they what they pulled one off, it was raining and at Purdue, Purdue. and um it's hard to know what to kind of what we're hearing from both coaches. It's kind of hard what to know what to expect from yeah. them and how, what to prepare for. But I think that's where that whole, you know, preparing for us and the nameless, faceless opponent, and it's it's the next one on the schedule. And you know, I think that's where that this kind of bodes well for this team. That, you know, maybe they didn't know what to do about Illinois coming out of it, but now I think it's more about okay, what we're going to do and what we do best. And so it's even though there's some question marks, there's. Absolutely. I think they're, hey, we're going to go do what what we do, and we're going to, for the black shirts, the nameless, faceless opponent is, is the message kind of we've been hearing for the last few weeks. I'm sure they're sick of seeing Adrian Martinez as Nebraska's quarterback. Well, Tanner Morgan's been Minnesota's quarterback for four <laughs> straight years as well, so a veteran guy taking the snaps for them again this week. Here's Eric Chenander talking about Morgan. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously, we've seen him a lot uh, over the last couple of years. Uh He's a guy that's matured within the offense. I think he knows the offense um, as well as probably anybody in the program or that they've ever had being his third year uh, as a starter. Uh, I think he's got control of the offense. I think he does a good job with the football. Uh, you've seen him push the ball down the field a little bit more this year than he has in the past. Uh, you know, willing runner. You know, he's not really their quarterback run guy, but he definitely will take off on a scramble. He will pull the ball and go. Uh, but I think he's just got an overall good command of what they're trying to get done on offense. So there's some clips from Eric Chenander as the Huskers get ready for this trip up north to take on the Gophers again, 11 o'clock. Back to the 11 o'clock kicks this week for Nebraska against Minnesota. Our Sports Highly Hotline is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. Those phone lines are open for you, 402 402- 413-2400. You can dial us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. We're back with more Sports Nightly next. Experience the difference and shop Woodhouse Nissan first. We have the car, truck, or SUV that meets all of your needs. Shop the all-new 2022 Nissan Frontier. This midsize pickup has the tech and the rugged durability to take your adventures to new heights. Or discover the 2022 Nissan Armada. Whether it's a family day out or moving large items, the Armada has space to bring what you need. Call or visit us online today to schedule a test drive with Woodhouse Nissan. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next-level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. Don't let the cold winter worry you. As Nebraska's leading supplier of propane, you can count on Sap Brothers to keep your family warm this winter. You're like family, and your safety is the number one priority of Sap Brothers. When it comes to your propane needs, Sap Brothers has you covered. Visit www.sapbros.net slash petroleum to find your local Sap Brothers propane expert. Celebrating 50 years of fueling America's heartland and welcoming guests, Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The Rural Fellows Program doubled their average number of participating students this year. 
putting UNL student interns to work in 17 Nebraska communities for the summer. Interns use their skills to get real-world experience on a variety of projects, from mapping out trail systems to creating promotional videos to researching and documenting local history. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment, and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. You could win a 2021 Ford F-150 XL four-wheel drive Super Crew truck from the Woodhouse Auto family this season. If the Huskers return the first or second half opening kick for a touchdown, Woodhouse will give away an F-150. New contestants will be chosen each week. For details on how to enter the Woodhouse Auto Family Kickoff Contest and official rules, go to woodhousekickoff.com. That's woodhousekickoff.com. Walk these fields for 85 years. Grow deeper roots here. Know what thrives here. Bring in world-class genetics and innovative traits like chrome triple stack corn hybrids and enlist E3 soybeans. Refine it through pure local know-how and expertise. Do all of that and the only thing left is the right seed. Hogemeyer. Learn more at therightseed.com. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. Visit a participating Agco dealer between now and November 12th, and you can enter for a chance to win a pair of tickets to the Nebraska-Iowa football game on November 26th in Lincoln. That includes pregame tailgate passes. See participating Agco locations across Nebraska, and you could win, be a winner this season. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Tuesday night. Volleyball show coming up at the top of the hour. The head coach will be in studio for an entire hour. So get your comments, questions ready for him. Phone lines are wide open now if you want to jump on board. 402-413-2400. It also doubles up as a text. On our text line, Chuck in Omaha says, my associates from around the Big Ten keep asking me if I still think Coach Frost is the guy. I truly do. Would like your comments on that, and if you think Adrian will be back for year number five. I th- I think he will be. I um, Well, I mean, I'm, I'm leaning towards he will be because – with the NIL stuff, I mean, we've seen, you know, some players come back to take advantage of that. And you just, there's, there's right now, I don't know, because Jeremiah was telling us it's the biggest draft draft class, right, in NFL history because of the COVID year. and Because a lot of guys took advantage yeah, to come back. Yeah, and, so there's a lot. It's, it's a huge class. And while the quarterback's not as strong, uh, you know, I feel like that might, 
play into some people's decisions to, hey, let's wait, let's see, give me another year and see if I can move up in, in draft status. But you're talking about a guarantee to make some money with NIL, which I think is a positive for NIL across all, you know, across the board. You have some players that will maybe stay to make some money that maybe wanted to leave, and it wasn't necessarily the best move for them to go ahead and, and come out, but they wanted to go make money. So maybe, and, and not saying that's part of Adrian, but I do think with him having the ability to make some money with NIL, maybe that will help uh, play into his decision to, to come back for a year. But plus, I think, again, this team is so close, and there's a lot of guys that are going to be coming back, and they've talked about the, you know, the, the, what the, some of the things that they want want to do and it means a lot to him to play for nebraska so i could totally see him coming back we're going to be busy in december and january chasing down these because i yeah. think there are going to be a bunch of announcements about different guys up and down there's a lot of those kids who could come back and take advantage of the sixth year but will they and i'm thinking about it like a matt sichterman is he just kind of ready to get a job and move on or does he want to come back and play another year of college football he's graduated so there'll be interesting storylines to follow. The transfer portal across the board absolutely. is going to be absolutely nuts. I mean, every every program is going to be hit, getting hit by the transfer portal. There's no doubt about it. Just because the teams are so big right now with all, with all of those every sport. I think we're going to see it across the board a lot. The transfer portal is going to be lit. <laughs> Well, we've seen it in basketball for over a decade. Football's kind of catching up to that now that it's really popping in there as well. And you have to, as a staff, you have to adapt to that because there's some good players that can help your team that are out there. It's like free agency in the NFL. You can go add a, a Samore or a Levi Falk or a Marquis Step to your roster to really help you out. Yeah, depending out. on the position. I mean, absolutely. You, you comes it, it turns out that you need help here or there you can absolutely go find a guy look at Samori than the leadership that he's been able to Huge. provide I mean there's some young talent in that wide receiver room but they were all so young and hadn't played a lot of football and then you get a guy like Samori who's been a, just a in the leadership part of it has been huge for that room so you know sometimes it's it's even more so than what you can provide talent wise it's also that that leadership getting somebody that's actually been in the battles and, and played some big time ball on our text line Joe and Gibbons said just a note to say thanks for the great coverage on Saturday love that Facebook live pregame with Jessica and Jeremiah fun game day experience for those of us who can't be there in person that is really cool and if you haven't checked it out do it 60 minutes on the road games and 90 at home, correct? Right, yep. So we have just the one camera on the road, uh, but still get to see warm-ups because, I mean, what pregame show do you get to go in and see? There's been a lot of times that we've seen breaking news. So we saw when Oliver Martin ran out onto the field for the first time. We were right there. He ran right in front of us. So we got to see that. We saw who the starting line was going to be, the starting offensive line immediately when it came out. Jeremiah could tell you who it was. We uh, talked about the starting running backs each week. So there's a lot of things that you can see in that pregame stream that you can't see anywhere else. Very good. Hawaii Dave, is there an app to listen to radio broadcasts of the games? Huskers. Well, the Huskers yeah. app. Yep. And then you have a Radio Sync app if you want to try to get it yeah, synced up to your I TV broadcast. Yeah, I did text. I, I've, I've been trying to do some research on that. I feel like somebody, Greg, you need to get on that. You need to create an app. <laughs> okay. But um, yeah, that's what create an app for that. I'm somebody really can make some money. Sound. Maybe somebody in our chat can create an app for that. <laughs> but, no, there there was an app, but I was told somebody texted it and said it didn't work. So I need, I'm still looking into that a okay. little bit. So Very good. So I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. We will tell you that you could win a 2021. Ford F-150 XL four-wheel drive super crew truck from Woodhouse Auto Family this season. If the Huskers return the first or second half opening kick for a touchdown, Woodhouse is going to give away an F-150. New contestants will be chosen each week for details on how to enter the Woodhouse Auto Family kickoff contest and get the official rules. Go to huskers.com slash Woodhouse. Need to take a break. Back to wrap up this hour next. Inspired by the legendary coach Tom Osborne, Nebraska Athletics is proud to introduce the 255 Collection with the mission to connect style with Nebraska pride. 255 was designed with the fan in mind. With high quality at the forefront, 255 can be worn anywhere, from sporting events and business meetings to backyard get-togethers. No matter the occasion, 255 is about feeling confident, looking good, and celebrating the remarkable coaching career of Tom Osborne. Shop now at Huskers.com or participating retailers. For more information, visit Huskers.com slash 255. Walk these fields for 85 years. Grow deeper roots here. Know what thrives here. Bring in world-class genetics and innovative traits like chrome triple stack corn hybrids and enlist E3 soybeans. Refine it through pure local know-how and expertise. 
Do all of that, and the only thing left is the right seed. Hogemeyer. Learn more at therightseed.com. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next-level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Score a game-winning drive when you buy your next vehicle at Sid Dillon Chevrolet. As a Chevrolet Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles, including medium-duty trucks and low-cab forwards. Whatever vehicle fits your needs, we're here to make the purchase process easy. Visit our Chevy locations in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo. Plus, shop our full inventory at SidDillonChevy.com. You are what drives us. Chevy, find new roads. We're back here on our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres Solutions for every field. Let's head to the phones here in Lincoln. Michael, you're up next. Hey, Greg. Good evening. How are you? Good. Thank you. Hey, uh, uh, great show tonight. Quick question for you. You know, um, uh, he's done a great job of either single-handedly almost at times keeping us in games or bringing us back from behind against uh, Michigan State, Oklahoma, and now now a heartbreaker in, uh, against Michigan on Saturday night. But what do you think the chances are of Adrian coming back? Looks like we're going to be able to build another good offensive line in front of him, keep putting good players around him. And no offense to you know the backup quarterbacks, but he's clearly the guy. And I'd love to know what your take is on him coming back next fall. I'm going to hang up and listen. And thanks for a great show. Go Big Red. All right, Michael. Thank you. Yeah, we just we were talking about that a little bit earlier in the hour. I, you know, Jessica and I, I think your your lean's probably right. My lean would be he comes back. Mine too. I think just again with the NIL and him able to make a little bit of money there, but also with just with the cast of characters that are coming back. And as he just said, the offensive line they're young. And they got some really talented guys um, that are getting some experience. A lot of those wide receivers. Um, I think the tight ends, one, maybe two come back, and then you throw in Fedoni. I think he's just going to have a lot of um, players around him that could maybe they could do some big things. And then on the defense, a lot of guys coming back. They could be pretty salty. If he feels like he still has something to prove. I think he comes back. And it may just depend on how the back half of the season goes. If we play better and get to a bowl game, you feel like we're on the cusp of something really big, I would like uh, like our chances. Buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. It's going to do it for me. Jessica's going to hang out with the head volleyball coach. Our volleyball hour coming up on the other side. So get your questions, comments ready for him. The Oscars in first place in the Big Ten Conference. A couple of home matches coming up this week. Indiana tomorrow night. Illinois on Saturday night. The Volleyball Hour is next. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Come visit us at Woodhouse Hyundai and shop the 2021 Hyundai Tucson equipped with an impressive balance of style, smarts, and award-winning safety. Plus benefit from Hyundai Owner Assurance with America's best 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. 
making your choice easy. Shop our selection in person or online at woodhousehyundai.com. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy's Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. Hey, Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team www.iowaworks.gov Here we go again. The celebrating, the accolades. Ever since we added Marco to our team, our technology can't lose. Day after day, success after success, Marco's made our business IT a force to be reckoned with. The only drawback of being technology all-stars is keeping champagne away from the electronics! (sighs) Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com
Live from the Acres Broadcast Center inside East Stadium, this is the Nebraska Volleyball Show. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Nebraska receives serve. Pass made Lexi Rodriguez, fed back row. Kubik, kaboom! 17-9. She's got three back row kills in just this third set. Bump set left. Over the net. Put down Nicklin Haynes. Nicklin gets a kill. 8-3 Nebraska in the second. Maybe Lexi had too many pancakes for breakfast and decided, I don't need another pancake, and that's why she didn't go for that ball. Pancakes are great at the beginning, but after a while, everyone's sick of them. Here is your host, Jessica Cootie, on the Huskers Radio Network. Welcome, everyone, into the Nebraska Volleyball Show. I'm Jessica Cootie. In for John Baylor this Tuesday evening, we'll be joined by the head coach, John Cook, coming up any minute now. I believe he's walking in now. Of course, the Huskers coming off a pair of big wins. They're the only unbeaten team remaining in the Big Ten, up to number nine this week in the, in the rankings. And a huge win over Penn State in Happy Valley on Friday. Coach, welcome into the show. How you doing? Oh, you're right on time. Perfect okay. timing. I wondered if, you know, something happened with the Red Sox. That's why JB wasn't in tonight. Oh, are they playing tonight? No, they won last night. So okay. I thought maybe he was, uh, you know, too happy about the win and couldn't make it in. But, yeah, so I'll be in for JB again. Get those uh, texts and calls in for Coach Cook on our uh, Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline, 402-413-2400. I know they always uh, bring some uh, great questions for you. We see the text line pulled up, phone lines open, so get those in for Coach Cook. Well, let's go back to Friday, man. How about that? That was uh, awesome. What a performance. It was a good win, good effort. Got to move on. Yeah. <laughs> Too much focus is on that, that match. We got Indiana in a, a little less than uh, I went 24 hours. Yeah, really. So... But, uh, yeah, it was a great match by both teams, and we just were a little made a few more plays. Uh, the atmosphere is a whiteout, and there was this one red dot of a fan that uh, <laughs> was blowing up on social media. How about that? The one, the one Husker fan that, that made the trip that was up there. Well, that was in the middle of the student uh, section, yeah, I should yeah, say. Yeah, I don't know who that was. I don't know if he's a Penn State student or what, <laughs> but uh, they always do the whiteout for us. It's I think every year we've been in the Big Ten, it seems like they're whiteout nights when we go there. So, uh, but you know, they got a rowdy crowd, and I was just having dinner with some of the freshmen. They were telling me some of the things that the students were saying. And um, <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, but we thrived on it. And then responded in a big way, a sweep over Rutgers. I mean, you, that's going to make you happy as a coach because you can sometimes teams has, have a letdown when you play your rival and play well and then have to turn right around and, and play another one on the road. They responded pretty well against Rutgers, right? Well, if game one we had nine hitting errors, which wasn't great, but uh, uh, we we played into it. It was, it was it's, it's a tough match because it's a 1 o'clock at Rutgers. Um, they they we first time we played in their basketball arena, which is way nicer than the old arena that we play in, and uh, they had uh, they had almost 2,000 fans there, so there was a little bit of atmosphere. I always worry about when we play somewhere where there's no atmosphere. We're so used to having the buzz and the energy of the crowd, mm -hmm. like at Penn State, like here, um, and then when you go when there's nothing, it it we learned that last year in COVID. I mean we. There were several weeks that we couldn't figure out how to play with no crowd. Yeah, but, uh, God, that's got to be tough for sure. Uh, we got our first text in for you. Hey, Coach, can you please explain the sub rule and how you can uh, run out? Go Big Red. Okay, the sub rule. So in, in college volleyball, um, you get 15 substitutions. And so you can use one sub you can go to 15 subs but once you go to 15 you're out and whoever you can't sub any anybody else out once you get to 15. so we've run out once this year and can, but we we know who is going to stay in and we can manipulate it to know when to sub and who to sub to you know who do we want to finish the game with so like one game we had kenzie knuckles in there at the end and you know she got a did great and uh i think another time we ran out we kept lindsey krause all the way around so um 
it's 15 subs. That's how it goes. And like I said, some teams use them all and some teams don't. And then it depends on how long the games are going, uh, how many rotations and times we go around. So if you get a really long game and it's close back back and forth, that can you can run through your subs faster. Um, if it's big runs and stuff, then maybe you you don't get close to you know finishing out your subs. Do you have kind of a set plan for how you're going to sub going into each match? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the thing that I should explain because for the sub rules, so if I go in for you and then you come back in for me, that's two subs. Okay. So uh, that's how subs count. Every time somebody goes in, you're counting that entry. And then if that person goes back in, it's another entry. So it adds up pretty fast. But the libero, <coughs> that does not apply, right? The libero does not apply. The libero's, libero is uh, Spanish, uh, Brazilian, or French for free. And so... Uh, that means it's a free player. So they can go in and out for whoever. There's no no um, counting of a substitution pattern. The only thing the liberos cannot do is they um, uh, they have to come out for at, at one half of a rotation, which is a serving rotation. They have to come out for that because they can only serve for one player. So... Uh, for us, she ser uh, Roddy serves from one of our middles, but the other middle, when they come around, we either have the middle serve or sub or put somebody else in. So they have to come out for a half. And the other rules for the libero are they cannot set with their hands in front of the 10-foot line. If they do that and we swing at it, it's a violation. Uh, so um, that's really the only other rule for them. Wow. So then um, as far as who goes in when, I mean, you obviously have some – players that are you want on the service line some that come in for certain situations uh how do they earn that if they're not going to be on the starting you know lineup or whatever how do they earn kind of getting into that substitute rotation yeah well we, that's a complicated question but uh you know we do have opportunities for servers to come in so right now Ani Evans is one of those the reason Ani Evans is good is she also can set, so we can actually do what we call a double sub and, and put in a bigger blocker for Nicklin. So that allows us then to have a setter in the game. So that's in our rotation six, so she's doing that. Um, so that's one thing we try to do. Um, we're also sub, we want to get Kenzie Knuckles in the game, so we sub her in for what we call our L1 position, which is right now Ali Battenhorse. And so she'll come in the back row for Allie. So we're going to go strong front row with a 6'4 outside hitter and then an exceptional backcourt player. So that's that's our other kind of sub pattern that we're in right now. Okay, interesting. I get a, that question a lot. It's kind of uh, complicated and a lot to kind of learn and, and figure out if you're not embedded in it constantly, right? Yeah, and we used to have uh, volleyball one-on-one -on -one classes. We do clinics for fans to come in. Um, and learn about this and we would teach from it and sometimes in the spring of course last couple of years with COVID we haven't done it but we'll do like a clinic in the spring we'll, we'll do a practice and I'll, I'll talk everybody through it, what we're doing why we do it what the rules are um, so it's been really beneficial but we also have a lot of fans that really know the game well right <laughs> so because I hear from them I should have done this should have done that absolutely <laughs> absolutely uh, also this week you had three honored with a big 10 weekly awards Maddie Kubik was the uh, co-Big Ten player of the week. Uh, Nicklin Hames, the setter of the week. And, of course, uh, Roddy, Lexi Rodriguez, was the uh, freshman of the week. Um, that's always good. You know you had a big <clears> weekend <throat> when you have those uh, individual honors rolling in, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, they were hearing about it today because when they weren't so good in practice, they were hearing about <laughs> it. Like, maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> I saw Lauren's difference quote tweeted it and said, I'm the proud, uh, proud mom, mom of the yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think she feels like a mom. But um, no, that's good. Those guys. Who was the other co-player of the week? I didn't. I just saw Maddie, but I didn't. I didn't see. Who, do you know who the other person I did, was? It's not in this release. Yeah. I will get that for you. I'll yeah. look that up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I was curious who it was, but um, there's a lot of great performances every week, and you know, I think the the Big Ten looks at you know who the big matches were. I mean, that was a big match against Penn State, and a lot of attention on it, and. You know, it was, it was a big deal on the Big Ten Network, and it was a it was a really high level volleyball match. Both teams played really well.
Uh, Nicklin, I was talking to Maddie today in the uh, availability, and she was talking about Nicklin and kind of maybe feeling like she's settling in a little bit and um, getting getting a rhythm. Do you have you seen that out of Nicklin in the last few matches? Yeah, I think you know we were struggling early because she wasn't in a rhythm, and um, part of that was because she got hurt in the red white, and you know um, she's finally you know about four weeks ago she started getting her legs under her and. Um, got back into a rhythm and, and uh, you know, since we started the Big Ten, you know, I think she's she's been a lot more consistent with her setting and, and then, then once you're confident in that, it allows her to kind of lead and do other things really well. So, um, but Nicklin's, uh, you know, she can imp uh, win a lot of points in a lot of different ways with serving. I think she's second in the Big Ten right now in aces per game. Um, she does it was a really good blocker for her size and she's exceptional defense maybe one of the best defensive players I've ever coached so um, and then her serving so besides setting she can do a lot of other things to help our team be good uh, what about Maddie and I mean she ha had uh, she had what, four point four point two nine kills per set led with 19 against Penn State what what have you kind of seen out of her uh, for her to earn that that co-player of the week honors yeah well we're probably setting her too much but um, <clears throat> Maddie not only is she killing balls in the front row but she's killing balls out of the back row so that's why she gets a few more sets because she is going all the way around and um, but we, you know she's up there twice uh, twice with Lauren Lauren was drawing a big crowd, so Maddie gets a lot of benefit from Lauren being in there. Maddie was not hitting like that when Lauren wasn't playing, <laughs> so there you go. So Lauren draws a lot of attention, usually draws two blockers, which allows Maddie to be one-on-one, -on -one. and so um, that's been a big help for her. Uh and then Roddy, uh, Lexi Rodriguez, I mean, she just continues to do what she does. Some of the digs and the defensive plays that she makes, I mean, it is just like jaw dropping. How, what kind of lift does that provide a team when you see someone that can keep a play alive like she does? Yeah, it's, it's infectious because it, it or contagious. It, it, when she starts doing that and everybody starts doing that, it's, it's weird. I, I think there's other sports that that kind of happens, you know. Um, somebody makes a play or crazy play and it just kind of like spreads to everybody and that that's one of the biggest things she does for us is is she gets that contagious like we're going to get every ball up we're going to touch it we doesn't matter how we get it up and um it makes everybody around her better get those uh texts and calls in for coach cook on our woodhouse auto family hotline 402-413-2400 Woodhouse, Woodhouse Auto Family Shop, Woodhouse First, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time, shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. Got to step aside for our first break, but we're back with more with Coach Cook on the Nebraska Volleyball Show coming up right after this. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Welcome to Ag Answers. Today we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. UNL has been named one of the best schools for veterans for the fifth year in a row. The ranking on the Military Times Best for Vets survey reflects the hard work of Nebraska's Military and Veteran Success Center, serving military dependents, veterans, National Guard members, active duty troops, and many Husker students in the reserves. 
stay up to date with the most current and latest news by following the Huskers on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and more. These social media homes provide the fastest daily updates on everything surrounding Nebraska athletics, including game times, results, ticket promotions, prize giveaways, and more. Log on to also follow several sport-specific pages and Husker head coaches. Join today and interact with thousands of Husker fans around the world. Visit huskers.com slash social media to see all of our accounts. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every season presents a new opportunity. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, which is lean into every new opportunity. They focus on their roots and continue to stay tougher together with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperative leans on their values of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. Aurora Cooperative, tougher together. Preparation is the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Husker pride powered locally. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's game on at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont. Featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC business elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location. Or check out our full inventory at SidDillonBuickGMC.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. We are professional grade. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy Sports Bar and Grill, see you there for the game. From vintage sneakers to bacon scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Hey, Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team www.iowaworks.gov Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. Welcome back into our weekly Nebraska volleyball show and our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres, solutions for every field. I'm Jessica Hootie in for JB this week. 
along with head coach John Cook. And we got a couple callers waiting for you, coach. Let's okay. uh, go to Darren in Omaha. Darren, thanks for the call. Hey, guys. How well, you doing? Coach, I got a qu <laughs> Good, good. I'm doing really well, actually. Met Texas Roadhouse picking up an order. So just to throw a plug in there, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, Coach, I had a question for you. I don't know a lot about volleyball. Um, my daughter's an outside hitter as far as for a high school team. How often do you guys proactively try to tool it off a block? And I know a lot of that depends on the set, how close it is to the net or how far back. But if you have a team that's a dominant blocking team, do you guys proactively try to tool it off a block um, on purpose? Or do those usually happen by more of an accident? No, we work on it every day. And we have things that we hit off of, different apparatuses that we built, use. We use some swimming pool noodles that we hit off of. So we're constantly trying to find what we say the edges of the block. So to hit off an arm, a side of a hand, uh, go off the top of the block. Um, so as we say, the block is our friend. And so, and again, it depends. Now, sometimes you're one-on-one -on -one and the block isn't there, then yeah, you pound it down the court. But at our level, probably way more than the high school level, we're going to have four hands in our face most of the time. And so they, they've got to be able to hit off blocks. Um, and there's a few exceptional players that can go up, and it doesn't matter what the block does. They'll hit around it, like Caitlin Lahore for Penn State. I mean, we had two of our biggest blockers on her, and she went over us. So then you've got to tell – I mean, she's not worried about two on the block. She's just going over. So um, – that's when you got to have your back rows got to be really good, and you got to say, you know, you got to you got to dig it if it gets by the block. But so it's a constant theme, and and you know the great hitters can do it. You watch Jordan Larson. I mean, she very rarely ever kills a ball clean without being touched by the block, very rarely. And um, so she's a master at that. Huh? Do they often know beforehand if they're going to tool it, or is that something they'll take a look in their peripheral vision and see the blocker? and then make that decision in mid-swing sometimes. Oh, yeah, they constantly seeing. And then that's why we try to recruit players that have great vision. And you can, you know, can they see the block? And, and then there's sometimes, you know, you're playing and, you know, you get narrow focus and you can't see the block. And uh, so it's just it's part of sports, just like a quarterback or a point guard. You know, sometimes they can see the whole field and then sometimes they're just locked in on one player or one spot, you know, and, and telegraphing it. So... Same thing happens spiking a volleyball against the block. Thanks. Very good. Okay. Have, enjoy your Texas Roadhouse. I'm jealous. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. Thanks for the call, Darren. All right. Now let's go to Mike from Omaha. Mike, thanks for the call. Hey, you bet. Coach, uh, I've been thinking about a 5'8 outside hitter that you got. Yeah. And, it, and not to bring up bad memories, but I remember a 5'8 hitter kind of ending the year for one of our more talented teams. Knuckles, I think, I've heard she was a legendary high school hitter. How high can she reach? She can touch 9'11". She wow. almost can touch the rim. So uh, uh, that's legit. And, um, yeah, she gets up. She's got a, she's got a really good arm. Yeah, and I know she she said even though she was beat out at libero and she's playing less, I heard her say she's happier because she gets to hit. Exactly. And I'm wondering, you you said that in an emergency you can use her in the front row, but what I'm thinking is again thinking of Angie uh, Pressy. Uh huh. Uh, yep. And I know she had an incredible vertical. Yeah. Uh, but she did real well against us. But what do you think of the notion of using her in the front row like kind of a change up because teams aren't used to that height of a hitter and by the time they finally adjust maybe you'd have some really good success and you get her out of there does that make sense yep yeah we've talked about it a lot um doing that um and uh it's something you know, we ran out of subs and she finished in the front row in a game uh the problem is blocking she'll have a hard time blocking coming back so that's that's one of the downfalls of that because she's just she's just not very big. I mean, you know, blocking you want you know you have a big frame, long arms. You know, you're a much bigger blocker. She, she would be a pretty small block. So, but we certainly have talked about it, and you know, I wouldn't be surprised at some point things aren't going well. We we would leave her in. <laughs> Can I ask you something? That team that that uh, Pressy beat, 
how talented, it just seems to me on paper, that was an awesomely talented team with all these national players of the year. Was that your most talented team? Most talented team ever. No question. <laughs> But wow. but talent doesn't mean you're going to win all the time, and uh, they they didn't have great great chemistry. We did early in the year, and then it just uh, you know there there's there's another history lesson on you know uh, after the season some stuff came out, and you know uh, so it was. It was a team that really didn't really love each other and enjoy playing with each other, and that's why. I mean, we should have lost the night before to Michigan State, to be honest with you. I mean, we I think we squeaked that out 15-13, but they were just kind of ready for it to be over with and weren't on the – didn't have that feeling of, you know, we're really chasing something here special. It was more – all of them all of them pretty much had already won a national championship, and, you know, I think they were ready to move on, but I think we had four All-Americans on that team. I love the chemistry on this team. And let me tell you something, it is a lot of fun to watch these guys, especially some of the digs you guys are making. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I tell them all the time, you guys are so much fun to watch. Just uh, during the vet plays, in between plays, uh, they, are, they are a fun group, and um, they, they really love this team, and um, they get along really, really well, and they just they all support each other. It's, it's pretty cool. And, you know, again, I give our, our leaders – the credit for pulling all that together and and um, those guys making everybody understand because I mean there's you know there you know everything's not perfect and we have a lot of hype on our freshmen and but they've really really brought them into this and uh, it, it's they are really fun to watch. That's great. Good luck, man. All right, thanks. Thanks for the call, Mike. All right, Jeremy from Minneapolis. Jeremy, appreciate the call. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Coach, uh, great to talk to you. Super excited for you guys to come up here to Minnesota this year. I actually gave my wife tickets for uh, her birthday a couple of days ago, so she's super excited to be going to the game. Um, hey, I just wanted to ask, uh, you know, Lexi's son hasn't played much lately, and I was wondering if it's injury or has she just been beaten out of uh, her position right now? She's just kind of, we made a decision starting the Big Ten that uh, Ali kind of outplayed her, and so we were going to go with Ali, and, but, you know, they're, She's rotates in and has had op- is ha- is gonna you know has had opportunities and we'll get more so she's right there but uh, you know we had a very stressful non conference season of letting these guys compete and and try out against each other kind of and trying to figure out what our best lineup was and you know we we that's kind of what we went with and uh, but you know she she's. She's working really hard. She's battling every day, and that, that's what you need on good teams. And, and uh, she's got to be ready to go when an opportunity presents itself. Absolutely. Well, I'll, I'll hang up. I just wanted to also see and get your thoughts on the Jordan Larson monument. I know they've been talking about that. Has there been any more movement in that, or when can we expect to see that? And good luck the rest of the year. Yeah, thanks. I just want to know, are you wearing gopher stuff or Nebraska stuff? To the match. Oh, we'll be wearing Nebraska stuff. Okay. Absolutely. All right, good, good. good. I'm sorry you have to live in Minneapolis. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, we're excited for the football team to come up here this weekend and get a win, hopefully. Yeah, great. Um, have a great day. Thank okay, you. thank you. Thanks for the call. What, what did he ask? About the Jordan Monument? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's a statue. We're working on a proposal. Uh, I want to make sure I'm very clear on this. We're working on a proposal uh to how this would work we've had a lot of people have come forward and say they would really like to see a statue of jordan so we're working on the design the bids all that stuff and then we'll we'll go to administration and see you know this is something that could work and you know where exactly we we would put it and how it all all this would happen and so of course the goal would be to if it, this all goes forward uh, to have it by next August which which would be a tight timeline which which we're on now but um just had a lot of people have come forward and and um really want to see this happen and so but again it'll be a a team decision and you know I got we got to talk to Trev and all that stuff so but we're just getting all the details and seeing how this would work 
Do you have an artist or a sculptor in mind? Yeah, we have two that are working on um, drawings and bids right now. Wow, that's very cool. Speaking of Jordan, uh, we had a text on the text line. Jay in New Jersey said, reminder, uh, this is for JB to wish Jordan Larson a happy birthday during Saturday night's Illinois match. Her <laughs> birthday is October 16th, 1986. And uh, also said, I was at Sunday's Rutgers match. What did the down referee say to Tyler after he pointed out to her that Rutgers was out of rotation? Um, she called it. So Tyler was telling him they were out of rotation and she called it, which sometimes they don't, but uh, that's his job to pay attention up there and make sure and all that <laughs> stuff. But uh, sometimes you got to point that stuff out, out to them. They got a lot going on and they were moving their formations around and they got messed up so they, they probably were out for a couple of times before that and you know he was harping on them like hey you got to call this they're out of rotation so so happy birthday to jordan larson yeah though. saturday cool mine's the 20th there's a lot of birthdays yeah. in october yeah so. we just had a half our team just had birthdays in september it was nuts <laughs> So. Yeah, they had some birthday parties you weren't invited to, yeah, right? No, they did, and I was not invited. <laughs> you were talking earlier about the, the chemistry of this team, and uh, I interviewed Maddie earlier, and she said that about how much fun it is kind of to play with this team. But that can't be easy with, you know, players that have come back with the COVID year and then having young freshmen. There's a lot of, you know, years of experience in between that. I mean, how does – you mentioned the leaders, but how do you go about building that chemistry when it can't be easy with that, with that age difference? Right. Um, they started, you know, they start in June and we, we talked to him like, this is going to, this is going to be an epic test for you guys on making this a great team that everybody feels a part of, because you're right. It's, I mean, we were talking five, six year gaps right. and age differences and experiences. And, but then you've got, you know, talent all over the place. So, um, so it was a it was a really big challenge, and you know, um, they worked really hard on it all summer, and um, you can see the results of that. And just over the years, we learned how important that is in the sport of volleyball. You know, and you hear football's talking about it too. That every year they say they're close, but this year I, I hear things and see things that I can see that are different from the last few years. Um, but it's 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 about building a culture, and cultures are hard to build, they're hard to maintain, they're hard to keep going. Um, and you got to have everybody bought in. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We have got to take another quick break, but I see the text rolling in. We got another caller on the line. Uh, call in 402 413 2400 if you've got uh, questions for Coach Cook. We'll be back with more coming up right after this. It's football season. Husker Nation and Famous Daves is here to make your tailgate, house party, or get together famous award-winning and house-smoked St. Louis-style ribs, Texas beef brisket, Georgia chopped pork, and house-made sides like our Wilbur beans, creamy coleslaw, and Dave's cheesy mac and cheese will surely tackle any barbecue craving. Visit FamousDave's.com for all your catering and online ordering needs, or come visit us at our locations in Lincoln and Bellevue. Find your new vehicle at Woodhouse Chevy Buick today, where we have a full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs like the 2021 Silverado, which is a hardworking, smarter, bigger, yet lighter truck than the previous generation, helping you get the job done right every time. Or shop our wide selection of pre-owned inventory available now. Find new roads and explore all our new inventory arriving daily at woodhousegm.com or at our dealership in Missouri Valley, Iowa. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska. There really is no place like Nebraska Realty. What is HighBid.com? It's the online auction site for just about everything under the sun. Art and antiques, cars and coins, office equipment and furniture, toys and tools. You can find it all at HighBid.com. HighBid.com gives you access to thousands of auctions across the USA and around the world. Browse the most popular auctions, search for the exact item you want, or just explore the site. Go to HighBid.com. That's H-I-B-I-D.com and find what you're looking for today. 
After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. See shelter agent Brent Custer in Broken Bow and get the insurance coverage you need at the right price. You trained for this all year. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance. All without spilling a drop of your ice cold Bud Light. Welcome back to football, sports fans. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At Jimmy John's, we don't make sandwiches. We make the sandwich of sandwiches. We use fresh veggies because we don't hate salads. We just feel bad for them. We make our sandwiches exactly how you want because you're the one who's eating it. And we bake bread all day, every day, because stale bread isn't bread. It's croutons. Sandwich history is written by the victors. Good thing we have legible handwriting. Jimmy John's, the sandwich of sandwiches. Order pickup or delivery on the app. Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots. And we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Today's play of the day comes from Nebraska. We pick it up with the local sports announcer at a Nebraska Lottery retailer. Dave enters the store. He makes a move to the checkout counter. Looks like he's going to pass. Yes, he's passing the clerk a few dollars. The clerk takes the handoff and spins around. It looks like he's placed the scratch tickets on the counter. And now Dave has them in his hand. It's the old scratch Scratcherowski. He scratches left. He scratches right. Oh, my. He's done it. Dave has scored a bundle of cash. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <laughs> If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. You trained for this all year. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance. All without spilling a drop of your ice cold Bud Light. Welcome back to football, sports fans. Welcome back into our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres, solution for every field. It is our weekly Nebraska volleyball show with the head coach, John Cook, and we got a call from New Jersey for you. This is Joe. Joe, welcome to the show. Appreciate the call. Hi, thanks so much. You got a question for Coach? Uh, I just, yeah, absolutely. Uh, hi, Coach. Um, great following you guys this season. I just wanted to ask two quick questions, um, the first of which, 
Um, I know Lexi Sun has had a little bit of an uh, on and off season thus far, um, but one thing that's never in doubt is her ability as a server. Um, I know statistically the last couple of seasons she's been, you know, towards the top of our um, uh, producers in that area. I was wondering if Ali is able to kind of solidify her spot um, as the other outside, would it be possible to use um, Lexi as a serving sub or would that be too risky given that she's the number one option off the bench? Great question. Uh, we had a Rutgers match. If you're from Jersey, <laughs> yes. Were you there? I, I was. I was not at the match. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Because it was <laughs> it was free admission, so I thought you'd be there. So, uh, <laughs> but man, they have good pizza there in New Jersey. So uh, anyway, we we she had we have used her as a serving sub a few times. Um, we have been trying to keep her as the number one option off the bench. And, of course, if we have her serve, then we lose that opportunity to put her in a game. We'd have to wait till the game's over. The other thing that factors into that, she's, uh, she's a, a really um, – um, it's hard for her to stay loose uh, standing out. And to come in and serve, it's really hard if you're kind of – have been staying there for a while. So – because it, it may – you know – at the start of a match, it might be 15 minutes by the time introductions and all that, and then we get to her, and then she jumps in and serves. So um, th that's also been a challenge, you know, trying to keep her warm where she feels like she can come in there and really stick a serve. But you're right. She's one of our best servers and has been and has proved it, and that's, that's the tempting thing, tempting to use her just as a serve sub. But um, those are some of the reasons that we haven't done it consistently. That, that makes total sense. Um, the, the other quick thing I just wanted to um, mention, uh, I've noticed that Nicklin has, has really been trying to um, get a bit of a variety with her sets this year. I'm notice, noticing she's running um, some tandem combo plays um, with both Krause and Maddie, um, as well as with Stiverance. Lauren, now that she's back, um, the variety of slide sets been all going all the way to the pin. She's running some gap um, back ones. Um, and I was wondering if that's something uh, that Tyler has brought to the team or just something that you got has been in the work for the past few seasons. Um, I'm glad you noticed. Can I quote you to Nicklin that you noticed <laughs> that? Because we've been trying to get her to do more of it. We practice it. But, um, you know, sometimes it gets away from her in games. But uh, um, w w that's something we have. We want to move our hitters around. We've got some hitters that can hit a lot of variety of sets, which is, you know, makes us harder to defend course you got to pass and so part of the problems is when we're not passing well then it's you call that play and then you have to opt out of it if you don't pass and then they and then Nicklin loses confidence in that and it just calls it really simple but we are working on it we've been working on it and I'm going to quote you Joe in Jersey that said hey nice to see we're diversifying the offense awesome thanks guys so much thanks okay. for the call Joe in Jersey Nebraska 811 says, go dig red before you dig. Always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. Uh, had a question in the YouTube chat for you about, is there any possibility that you would play a match inside the football stadium ever? There's been lots of talk of that. Um, and I think Trev may have even mentioned it. Uh, and I, you know, I think they, you know, they'd play hockey in the football stadiums. I don't know how fired up I would be on that. <laughs> um, I, I, our next, our next dream kind of is for Beach is to play in Pinnacle Bank Arena in February or March. That'd and, be awesome. And would I, would I? We started all this several years ago. We were, we were going to do spring football game, and and then play a beach tournament all day long down in the Haymarket. We were going to put the courts in these. I mean, they build courts all the time for the AVP tour. They just go to Vegas and build mm -hmm. courts in a parking lot or in an arena somewhere. And so we've talked about that. That would that might be kind of the next crazy thing we try to do. Uh, another one on the uh, text line over there is: Kennedy still hurt, or will she be getting any court time? Kennedy is is good. She's been doing really well in practice, and um, is long as Nicklin plays well, it's going to be hard for her to get in there because just because she's, you know, a little bit behind. But she trains with the first group, and uh, she's rotating in with them. And um, she does some incredible things. She's just got to learn how to be more consistent right now, it, which is typical for a freshman setter. Another one on the text line, Charlie from Lincoln, has the team defense this year uh, surpassed the 2017 trio? 
stay posted. We'll let you know. It's <laughs> it's a it's it's a. The 2017 was incredible on defense, um, and I think the biggest difference right now is uh, Kelly Hunter blocking, which really helped. She was a phenomenal blocker for a setter, uh, and Kenzie Maloney was so fast. And Charlie probably remembers there's a play that was on ESPN Top 10 where we shanked the ball, and Kenzie literally flew flew out of bounds over our bench and played it, and we won the rally. We don't have anybody in our t- Ken- Kenzie Knuckles can can kind of do that at times, but Kenzie Maloney was a freak athlete w- with incredible speed. In fact, I think she was top five in the ten yard dash with the football team. So um, she could run down, do things that nobody else could do, and I think that might be the only separator right now. But let's see over time how this goes. Uh, but this group is certainly pushing for that seventeen. Uh, you know, level of defense. When will you say that? At the end of the season? Know, will you that, say it in a couple of weeks? Well, that 17 team won a, won a national championship. <laughs> so uh, um, we'll just have to see how it goes. But I may throw that out to them, too. They're, they're getting compared to that team. But that, that was a really, really great defensive team. I mean, they were, they were the final four. It was, he, these guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, it's like, Kelly didn't move. They just dug every ball right to her. It was, it was, they put on a clinic. All right, one uh, final break here. We have a few more texts rolling in. We'll try to get to uh, with Coach Cook. Uh, this season, share Valentino's tailgater tradition with our Big Red Double Jumbo deal and get two one-topping jumbo pizzas for only seventeen seventy-nine each. Order yours online at valentinos.com. Valentinos, the official pizza of the Huskers. Go Big Red. We're back to wrap things up with Coach Cook right after this. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. At Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. Today's play of the day comes from Nebraska. We pick it up with the local sports announcer at a Nebraska lottery retailer. Dave enters the store. He makes a move to the checkout counter. Looks like he's going to pass. Yes, he's passing the clerk a few dollars. The clerk takes the handoff and spins around. It looks like he's placed the scratch tickets on the counter. And now Dave has them in his hand. It's the old scratch He scratches left. He scratches right. Oh, my. He's done it. Dave has scored a bundle of cash. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. Finally, it's time to tailgate, to find your spot in a sea of red, to get together with family and fans, and to share what makes Husker football season the best. This season, share Valentino's tailgater tradition with their big red double jumbo deal and get two one-topping jumbo pizzas for only $17.79 each. Order yours at valentinos.com. Some restrictions apply. See store for details. Valentino's, the official pizza of the Huskers. Go Big Red! Pivot control has never been easier. T&L Irrigation now offers a new control panel called Precision Point Touch. It's a full-color, 7-inch graphic touchscreen that's easy to use and gives you lots of great tools to make your irrigation faster and more efficient. Set up your pivots the way you want. You can update your older controls to the new Precision Point control panel, too. Call your local T&L dealer or visit TLIRR.com. T&L Irrigation like no other. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's football season. Husker Nation and Famous Daves is here to make your tailgate, house party, or get-together famous. Award-winning and house-smoked St. Louis-style ribs, Texas beef brisket, Georgia chopped pork, and house-made sides like our Wilbur beans, creamy coleslaw, and Dave's Cheesy Mac and Cheese will surely tackle any barbecue craving. Visit FamousDave's.com for all your catering and online ordering needs, or come visit us at our locations in Lincoln and Bellevue. 
Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today, we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's Corn and Soybean Farmers. Welcome back to our final segment with Coach Cook and the Nebraska Volleyball Show. You could win a 2021 Ford F-150 XL 4WD Super Crew truck from Woodhouse Auto Family this season. If the Huskers return the first or second half opening kick for a touchdown, Woodhouse, Woodhouse will give away an F-150. New contestants will be chosen each week. For details on how to enter the Woodhouse Auto Family Kickoff Contest and official rules, go to huskers.com slash woodhouse. Well, Coach, uh, we have the text rolling in. Had uh, one more wanted to get to here on the text line. Love the pregame intro, but any way to bring the girls to the court similar to the level like the football tunnel walk. Go Big Red. Also, thank you, Coach, for advocating and empowering young women. Well, thanks. Uh, I'm not sure what he's asking there because we do, well, we we do a tunnel walk mm -hmm. and they run out to start hitting warm-ups, basically, which is you know, after they change their jerseys and they come out. So I'm not sure what he's talking about because that's kind of what football does, tunnel walk, and then they run out. So I guess maybe he wants me to lead them out and yeah. put the cameras in there. Probably like, you know. I'd love to the, do that. Have the camera on the the door yeah. of the locker room and then follow you. Yeah. Okay. We're going to – we'll we'll ask customer vision if we could do that. That would be awesome. That would yeah. be really cool. That would be fun. Yeah. And then just – I think it's just the drama of the buildup of watching yeah. on the video board before you, you yeah. know. So. Crowd, crowd would love it. Oh, yeah, be awesome. Well, we're, we're, here's what we're working on, though. <laughs> so at the Northwestern football game, the they played the song. Uh, I have it on my phone. Um, it's the uh, Cornhusker Come Running Boys, that song. Are you, you know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh, and the yeah. whole stadium yep. was singing. I immediately called Lindsay. I said, Lindsay, I want marketing. I want that song. We're going to retweak it for volleyball. And I want the whole Devaney singing that song, like maybe in between games one and two, uh, or I don't know, game between two and three, they everybody has to go potty and get popcorn. <laughs> but maybe between one and two, the whole play, it would be a great tradition for us to start, get everybody singing, get their phones lit up. That'd be awesome. It, that thing was so cool. I, I, I was having goosebumps, and, of course, I have an Irish wolfhound, so it's a kind of an Irish – I felt like I was in an Irish <laughs> bar, you know, having a Guinness, and the whole crowd, the whole place is singing. But it reminds me of European soccer, how everybody's just singing. Uh -huh. I never know what they're singing, but if we could do that, that would be – that would be epic, and recruits would go nuts. Yeah, and you know everybody would buy into oh, yeah. that inside and, Devaney. Yeah, and they put the words up there, so yeah. you can you don't need to. I mean, you can just sing along. Would you? Here's a question going back to the tunnel. Would you sprint like Coach Frost does to the? No, I'd be cool. I'd, I'd jog it up a little <laughs> bit. You gotta, you, we don't have very far to go. You know, true. He sprints across the field. I. I can sprint to the sideline. I'd, I'd probably be more cool. <laughs> you just sprint across <laughs> yeah. the court. Oh, we got about a couple minutes left. Uh, you know, a couple home matches after you guys were on the road, a long road trip. Uh, you, you mentioned Indiana and getting ready for them. What what's, what should fans know about them coming in here? Well, it's there's another Big Ten team. They're, they're, uh, they've are they won two matches, and they've come very close in a couple other matches. they played a really tough schedule so far in the Big Ten. Um, and uh, they've got a couple of really nice players, uh, a couple outside hitters, a setter who is, is unique, and she's left-handed and hits, and she uh, leads a conference in aces per game. Um, so they've got some you know, challenges for us, but we've really only had one day to prepare, so this is going to be a challenge for us. And uh, we're, uh, as we talk right now, our players have a scouting report they've got to go through on their own tonight because we're, we're really a day short compared to normal. And another game that will be on, this one will be on ESPNU uh, for you guys. So, again, that's coming up on Wednesday. And then Illinois, of course, here this weekend as well. Coach Cook, appreciate your time. And we appreciate all the calls and the text. You guys have been awesome tonight. And uh, JB should be back for the rest of the way. So this will be my last one uh, for the volleyball show. But 
Can't wait to, to see you guys here inside or at Lincoln this weekend. Visit a participating Agco dealer between September 20th and November 12th and enter for a chance to win a pair of tickets to the Nebraska-Iowa football game on November 26th in Lincoln, plus a pregame tailgate. See participating Agco lo locations across Nebraska, and you can win this season. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow night on Sports Night. With your Husker thoughts. Sometimes being an office printer feels like I'm competing in an Olympic sport. Thankfully, I have Marco's managed print services on my team. Marco's game plan helps me make big plays while saving big bucks. And Marco's lightning fast tech support gets me back in the game fast. <sighs> I'm up. Find out what your printers could be saying with Marco's managed print services at marconet.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Hey, Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team. www.iowaworks.gov. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addie's. Addie's Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addie's Sports Bar and Grill. See you there.